joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch, and this is the fourth and final video for the Jelly Roll Race Quilt Along. Okay, so now that we've got all of our strips sewn together, we want to measure it to determine our backing fabric and our binding fabric. Now, I already gave you those measurements because I've made about 20 of these quilts, but I want to show you how to figure it out yourself, okay? So I've got myself a tape measure here. Now let me get to the other end. That's the one. Okay, so here we go. So I'm gonna measure it across first. So I'm gonna start at the end and then go all the way to the other end. My iron is heating up. You can hear that in the background. Okay, so this measures 53 and a half, okay? So I'm going to write down 53.5 times, and then now I'm going to take or measure the length of it. So same thing, I'm just going to go down the other side. Depending on your seams, um, these typically measure 53 by... Uh, 64 I think I can't remember all of a sudden yep this is 64 so 53 and a half by 64 okay now I'm gonna get out my iPhone if you don't have an iPhone I'm not real sure um, if this app is available but there are quilting calculators I'm gonna click on the quilting calculator by Robert Kaufman and I'm gonna skip the ad <laughs> And then right here I'm going to click on backing and binding. And the width of fabric is 43. That's the fabric that you purchased. That's the, the width that it comes in. Okay, so the 50, I'm going to put in 54 by 64, calculate. So that tells me that I need 4 yards of fabric for my um, backing fabric. So I'm going to put 4 yards... And I think I told you guys four and a half to be on the safe side because I'd rather you have too much fabric than not enough. And if you forgot to cut off your 18 inches of your last jelly roll strip, then you're definitely going to want four and a half yards. Your seams are going to be a little wonky, but you'll have enough fabric to get your backing done. Now we're going to go back and we're going to get the binding material. So we're going to click on binding. And... Um, the width of the fabric is 43. The binding strip is 2 inches. This binding strip is determined um, by my long arm quilter. Some people like a thicker binding. Mine is a rather thin binding. So it depends on your long arm quilter or if you do your own binding. Some people do go with a thicker, a thicker binding, but I like this thin one. I'll show you this quilt again in just a minute. So what I'm going to do is put in 54 by 64. I'm going to cl click on the bias binding and then calculate. And hold my breath. There we go. And it says a third of a yard. So you could get away with a third of a yard of fabric. I usually just get a half a yard to be on the safe side. Okay. So now that we've got our backing fabric, our binding fabric determined, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to check my quilt for any holes that I may have. And it's actually better to check from the front side. I'm also going to trim the extra threads. So I'm checking for holes, uh, trimming these extra threads. And we're going to pretend that I've already checked for holes and trimmed the threads. And now we're going to press. Now I do this on a regular ironing board because uh, I can I can go um, I can get these ironed pretty quickly now, which is like my least favorite thing to do on these <laughs> on these quilts is the ironing. Uh, so I'm gonna take my starch. I love this stuff. It smells so yummy. Best press. I buy it by the big huge gallon thing, and I just refill my spray bottles. So I'm just gonna spray it. And uh, what I like to do. I want to make sure I've got this in the camera view, is I have found that I can press three rows at a time. <laughs> and like I said, I've made enough of these now that I know how to make them quick and fast, and, and they still turn out beautiful. So um, 
I don't know if you can tell, what I did was I pressed this top row up and then the next two down. I know some people have said you need to alternate um, one, one way and one the other way. To be honest, like I said, I've made enough of these that um, the way I've done it turns out beautiful. So that's the first three. And I'm going to move down to the next three. And I'm going to show you this a couple more times just so you can get it. I'm trying to make sure I have this in the camera view. I know someone asked me, how come I'm not filming videos in my dining room table anymore? That's where I was filming some of my um, quilting videos. Well, number one, um, there is no quietness up there. Uh, Google Fiber, and I'm not complaining because we're so happy to have them come into the neighborhood. They are digging up our street. And then there's kids with basketball goals and what have you. So to be honest, I just have to film all of my videos in the basement. Um, and even then, there's noise, as you just heard Skittles making an appearance there. Okay, so I'm going to do one more, and then we'll stop the ironing, because ironing is really not that very exciting. But it is necessary, I think, for your quilt to, to turn out beautiful. Now, before I sign off, since I've already made one of these jelly roll quilts with this exact same fabric, I want to show you how beautiful it looks. And while I'm finishing this one, I will tell you that we are going to be starting our next quilt along fairly soon. I found a fabulous um, quilt that I can't wait to show you how to make. Okay, so I will finish pressing my seams later, and then I will take my jelly roll quilt top, my backing fabric, and my binding fabric to my long arm quilter. And now I want to show you the quilt. And I will make sure I post pictures of this on my website because I know this video is, uh, it's not very easy to see. <laughs> but it is just absolutely gorgeous. I just love it. And, and I read online somewhere the other day, someone actually said that, Skittles, that jelly roll quilts were not very pretty. And I beg to differ. I think that if their jelly roll quilt is not very pretty, they need to, get better at choosing their fabric because every one that I've made um, they've just turned out so beautiful and again I think it has to do with the fabric selection I can't really take credit for it I bought all of this fabric together um, and all of these are gonna be gifts for Christmas or for next year I didn't I didn't finish my list for the whole family but I am working on them okay if you have any questions let me know thanks a lot bye